gold leaf leapt to the boy's fingers. Some of the audience claimed they could even see sparks flying out from his fingertips. Show business indeed. But to the scientific and curious mind of Stephen Gray, this said something else. Electricity could move. On the 29th of February, 1812, a 20-year-old self-educated bookbinder called Michael Faraday came here to the Royal Institution of Great Britain. When the current runs through the circuit, it generates a circular magnetic force field around the wire. This beautiful device was the first to convert electric current into continuous motion. It's the earliest ever electric motor. These fluorescent tubes are lit purely because they're under the influence of the force field from the power cables above. The execution of William Kemmler marked the lowest point in the War of the Current, but it wouldn't quite mark the end, because Nikola Tesla was about to do something that had never been seen before. Something so wondrous and daring that it would live on forever in the memories of those who saw it.